Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the question what you can do if your VLC video player is not starting from the file explorer in Windows 11. Of course, will be same thing in Windows 10 or even older Windows version. When you click here, when you double click, you have installed VLC video player and you double click here and it's not starting. Of course, it's working here again after I've fixed the problem. Absolutely no problem. And this is how it should be. You double click and it starts playing but sometimes it does not. So what can you do? The crazy thing is I have restarted Windows and it was still the same. Of course when it doesn't start you can always right click here and then say play with VLC media player and usually it will start. But of course it's a little bit cumbersome when you have to always right click and then choose this uh, function here. You have to search where it is and then select the play. Another option is then to press shift and right click and then you have the open this option. You can select choose another program, maybe choose the media player and then say uh, always start it with the media player or with some other things, with photos or uh, movies or something like that. If there's a problem in VLC which you can't solve directly. Of course, what's also a good option is to download the latest version from videoland.org. Maybe there was just something and with the download of the latest player, the problems will solve automatically. What I have done here to make it work again, I was closing the Windows Explorer because it looks like there was just something hanging in the Windows Explorer, maybe something left from a previous task and then you can end the Windows Explorer but you have to be careful after that. There is no desktop anymore. The only thing which you will see is the task manager and then you have to go uh, and click here on run new task and you type here explorer click on ok and then you will get everything back desktop explorer everything so this is important to know you can always do that and it will close of course all the windows explorer uh, windows and remove everything what's left and this could also fix the problem so there are a couple of options. I don't have something which is super fast and works all the time. We have to work a little bit around. These problems have been uh, here for years. Sometimes they disappear, sometimes they are coming back. Probably depends a little bit on the latest version of VLC. So again, it's always a good idea to download and upgrade to the latest version of VLC. Yeah, so that's it for now. I hope we've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments or other solutions, then just let us know down in the feedback area. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.